Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about concealers. I have no idea why the light is weird, so the next scene might be really light. So I'm going to try and figure it out in a minute. But I'm just going to talk to you about concealers. This is the um, Collection 2000 Ultimate Wear Concealer. It's rubbed off, so I'm trying to remember. And I'm in Fair One. And I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to tell you how to use them, how um, some can be drying, how some can be more liquidy, etc. And what that does to your makeup on top of it. So let's get into it. Some concealers can be very drying and they can create more spots or more dryingness which won't cling on to your makeup and it will make it look all flaky and horrible. So you don't want that. So what I use is this and this is in my um, top five moisturizers so you can you know hear more about this but this is just the E45 moisturizing lotion. Put this all over my face and then I put my foundation on. The reason I put my foundation on is because then at least this has something to sit on top. I mean, my foundation is already sitting on top of the moisturizer, so it's got to cling on. But this won't be as strong and won't be able to cling on as much, in my opinion. Um, so I put on my foundation and then I put this on. And it also won't sink into the pores as they're coming up with the foundation. So it will give you an even more flawless look. And you also won't have to use as much because your foundation has already covered up a lot of it. So that's what I use um, before, after I put my foundation on. The second thing is you can use, get a lighter shade um, than your skin colour and put it under your eyes to brighten up your eyes or on your T-zone or your pupil bow. I think that's called pupil bow, right? This little bit here? I think it is. Um, just to brighten it up and make it pop. You can also put this in the corner of your eye if you don't have any white eyeshadow to make that pop as well. And then the next thing is to get the colour of your skin. I think you have to bring your neck or your jawline. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for that. You might have to look that up. But then um, get it your colour and you also won't have to use it as much because it will cover up a lot because it's your colour. That make, does that make sense? Um, so it's just you're not, not going to have to use a lot of product and yeah this is a really good concealer, I really recommend this concealer. It's like the third or fourth concealer I've had, not off this one but off different ones and this is the best one so far so I have had my tries. This is um, again Collection 2000 Ultimate Wear Concealer, I believe. It has all rubbed off so I'm not sure. Looking boots and put Collection 2000 concealer and it'll come right up. And this was only 4 dollars in my boots, I believe. <coughs> so it was only £4.19. So if you live in Chelmsford, then go get you this because, well, I don't know how much it is in, you know, the USA, so um, I'm not sure. But it's really cheap, and a lot of people say it's like MAC. So you should go get this because it's really good. Okay guys, so that was my how to use concealers. I hope this helped. Comment down below if it did or not. And if you like these little talking things because I can do a load of ways on like how to make your mascara look like full flashes and stuff like that. So comment down below if you like them. And this was really quick because I do have one really long video and a medium video coming up. I don't know if it's going to be up before this or not. Um, but if not, it'll be linked down below. And like, comment, subscribe. And if you want any other videos, then comment down below. Like this video if you like these kind of chatty kind of videos. And subscribe if you want to see more. So I love you lots. I'll see you guys later.